Hello everybody, um, this is Arjun Verma and I am going to be explaining the four color theorem to you. So let us. So the four color theorem states that every simple planar map can be colored with a maximum of four colors such that no two neighboring colored regions share the same color. Right? That's um, my own, pretty much my own definition of it. And simple means that you know it's not like this joint and it's not you know it's not a crazy kind of map it's a pretty simple um, country you know um, or a colored region as I've called it here because I didn't want to use the word country because maps can also color states and cities and whatnot right so in general I call them colored regions and um, yeah so if we're coloring regions and if we're trying to make sure that no two um, neighbors have the same color then yeah we have uh, then we only need four colors and I um, I found it quite um, difficult to understand the proof of it so I tried to prove it sort of you know myself and here's what I sort of um, got based on my research as well so step one you be reduce the problem to connected finite, ma finite maps with regions containing finite polygons and this map satisfies Euler's formula okay I, I, I really don't know uh, if this formula is that useful in the end um, I haven't used this proof so uh, this in the proof so let's not let's you know never mind so now what do we do we uh, we reduce countries to single points right yeah like I've done over here and we call those vertices and we connect bordering countries with lines we so yeah um, here's our map our original map and um, I go down this is what I did right so I um, I took one point from each region and pretty much you know sort of assume that that's like the center of mass or something like that whatever you can take the capital or it doesn't really matter you just take one point and um, it uh, that point itself represents your whole uh, region so that way we um, simplify the the problem because otherwise a region has too many boundaries and things like that so the thing is now our points like you know for example, if we were to take this region that has so much of a big border and we don't really want to go into dimensions, right? So we're just making relations, right? This is bordering with this and this and this, right? And this. So yeah, it, it's just linked like that. And that's all these links are supposed to mean, that the, the bordering. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, so then I tried to color it, right? And this is the kind of coloring I got. So I started with red. And then I, I tried some stuff and then some colors were starting to um you know what do you call it like some of them were really touching each other like you know the rule that I have to make sure is that along the same line like you know two opposite ends cannot have same colors and that was starting to happen quite a lot so I had to recolor and recolor and that's why this blue thing is a real big mess but in the end I managed to get a satisfactory coloring so it certainly works right this is just an example and we find it possible right so uh, how I see the problem and the solution is that we use any coloring algorithm such as you know starting with a node with maximum edges attached and giving it color number one then proceeding to the uh, color to color all the link nodes in a preferential manner if possible use color number two if not possible, if it, if it ain't possible to use color 1 and color 2, use color 3. If it's not possible to use all 3, use color 4. And um, this algorithm is generalized and formulated on a computer and valid for every map because um, it, it, that's just the way it is, it works. And the reason why the algorithm works, I'm going to present to you. Um, we attempt uh, to prove it. First, we uh, uh, this shall be a proof by contradiction where we shall ultimately show that there is no way we can prove four colors to be insufficient to color a map, right? So, if you basically if you show me a map in which five colors are absolutely needed, if you can construct me 
the simplest of maps you know maybe like you know with the least number of countries you know just just make a random map right if you're able to do that with, with and you show that you need five colors then yeah uh, then good for you but it's not going to be possible and you're going to see why so first we build a country like region or whatever you call it you know a colored region here's the one i made right and let's go down then we try to pro provide it a neighboring color in an extent to exhaust another color right so yeah we we've used blue up and now we want to use yellow up so obviously we make a yellow country like this right and we go on right we proceed in this manner trying to exhaust red and um, in order to uh, exhaust red i want you to understand one thing right it could have happened that my red country was you know just neighboring with the blue and not with the yellow over here but if it weren't neighboring with the yellow then it could simply have been colored yellow and um, it wouldn't have needed to be colored red so in order for it to have uh, in order for us to be using a third color by that algorithm um we need to make sure that this third country is bordering the first two and we proceed we now try to exhaust green but it's not possible to do so without edge locking either one of the three colors since the their construction is largely largely symmetric we can assume that the red one is locked in so yeah what i mean to say is that yeah whether you say that okay you know now we're going to need a uh, so yeah basically we're going to need to color green to color the, uh, another country green right so in order to do that it has to be neighboring with all three countries right it's only neighboring with these two and it's like this it could be red it's only neighboring with these two it could be yellow you know it's only neighboring with these two could be blue here or you know if it's just over here it could be either red or blue but no it has to border all three so for that it has to like start from uh, since these three are pretty much the same right these are just squishy and this one is a little bloated but you know for all reasons they're the same they could have been perfectly you know round i just made them very lazily so you know and just to you know prove a point that countries look a little different to make a map the map more realistic so yeah let's take it like from here or and it goes all the way up till here or something like that you know because it has to border all three now if it doesn't go all the way there if it comes right till here it could still be colored blue so it has to go all the way till here could even come around all the way that's all right but it definitely has to come somewhere around here right uh, and for in order for it to be colored green um, i hope that's the one i made yeah exactly right so here it is sorry so now the color red has been exhausted and must be reused in order to exhaust the colors uh, it, it must it must also share borders with all three countries again one of the country colors will get locked in and thus will be reusable thanks to the symmetry since it's all the same we assume the blue gets locked in so yeah basically now what you see is that the red color country is locked in right and um now when you make any country outside it, it will only be bordering with this country this country and this country since or uh, it's this one is landlocked it can't border with any more countries right so uh, basically uh, a third of uh, the color red can be reused when we make a country bordering with all these three countries again it has to border all three countries otherwise if it's bordering any two the third color could be used it's bordering only blue and green like this uh, then you could have made it yellow if it's bordering blue and yellow it could be green it could have green blah 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 and you go on and yeah so basically it the color red can be used right so we do this right we make a country bordering all three like this one and i color it red now here's the thing now blue gets locked in if i would have you know tried to make it from here till here the yellow would have gotten locked in and so on and so forth so the thing is as you see um the red the red and blue colors that are inside this and this one these countries 
that role is in- insignificant it's like they aren't even there now you know when we're making a new country we obviously can't make in- any more countries inside right since there's no space we can only make them outside so since they're only going to be made outside these these two are absolutely insignificant only red yellow and green get considered and we can make a blue country somewhere around here you know but if we only make a, a country the small and colored blue then we wouldn't be doing it justice because it can be colored yellow right so it has to be like this big and it can be colored blue you know um yeah so basically uh, uh, what i've done is i've sort of explained again um blue is reusable at the step we realize we cannot continue sorry we are stuck in a loop in which we have three different colors adjacent to each other like so yeah like this yeah so basically if there was the green over here it wouldn't have mattered right so it's these three that sort of count and if we add a fourth country a if the fourth country isn't touching all three needs to be recolored with a fourth color it needs to be colored with a fourth color b if it is touching all three one of the countries gets locked in making its present outside the new cumulative figure ineffective uh so we, when while the fourth country does exhaust the fourth color one of the other three colors becomes reusable and the fourth color and thus four colors are sufficient hence proved four colors are enough to color a simple map yeah that's pretty much it right so at this point yeah we basically just realize that okay we can continue this way but we'll only uh, uh, we're not going to proceed you know at any step so here we were with this blue yellow green thing then we added a red then we'll add another probably no sorry yeah so yeah we added a red but, but now the blue is insignificant and blue is reusable and if we keep trying basically we can see what's going to happen because there's no way we can get the colors inside to stick uh, to make their presence um effective outside um outside this whole thing if you know what i mean i'm sure you can understand like you know we can't make this blue color if we had this blue color sticking out like this maybe you know if it had this country had like a horn like this then uh, then it, then you know this red thing would have gotten this joint and it, it it's just not possible you know and um yeah suppose okay now uh, let me explain this suppose it did have this horn then um then if you color this thing like this it could have easily been been colored green and it wouldn't have needed to be colored red and again you know all sorts of possibilities like that just sort of pop up you can try to extend figures but in the end what you'll realize is if we're trying to keep this this proof really simple and um it is simple right now and besides this red color if we try to remember it was um built on the premise that we had to um have a country which a color color a red colored country which borders all three of these in fact we would try to make it border all four but since this one isn't possible um we can only make it border all three so if it did have a horn sticking out we couldn't have made it this joint country right it wouldn't have made sense so yeah so that's why we just you know we even if it did have a horn horn sticking out we would have gone all around it and made a country like this just for the sake of proof and um that's about it guys um thank you